right, we're coming up on uh, basketball 19 night. Uh, image 19 is about to finish. And then what I'm doing is just doing a real quick screen capture of Indigo Renderer as it renders out images. Uh, what you see when it flashes off is exactly what you'll see if you do a sequence out of iClone itself. Um, so you can switch from one program to the other. You can have this rendering in the background just by doing a uh, file open and it'll give you this I say cancel. While this is rendering you can open up another version. You just come up here and you choose all programs and you can go in to go renderer and pick up another copy of this running in the background. You can do multiple copies depending on your system but I'm just doing a screen capture to show you what happens when you do a sequence export from from iPhone itself. You can come up here. I'm going to close this timeline and uh, you go up to Indigo Renderer and then you just save the IGI for a region, for a uh, export range and then you do whatever you're going to do up here for materials. If there's something you need to change use Indigo Sky, None, Background, Export after you've set everything up, you do your export, and then you just tell it what name you're going to give it. You just do an export like this. It's going to ask you for a sequence. What you're looking at in the other version that's already running is Basketball Hoop IGS. Um, it's an IGQ sequence which contains these IGI images. What it does, it speeds it up if you use the IGI. It creates more files, but it does speed it up a little bit. Anyway, go back and the intent was to look at and see what actually happens in here. If you look over here to the right, you've got imaging, uh, where your camera settings are. This has to be preset. You export one frame first just to see what it's going to look like and then uh, you can make your changes in here based on individual images. But if you change one, if I change this now, it will throw a, an anomaly frame in there. So I'm going to go in here and go back to the render queue. Uh, you can do render settings, do all this in the beginning before you start, light layers, if you're going to change anything, network rendering, if you're going to actually render in a network setting to another computer. You can set that up as a uh, connection for a renderer. In other words, wire another computer into your system. I've got three of them here, but I'm only using the one that I'm actually working on. Render queue, 60 seconds per. Some of them, you know, it goes just a little bit over. It's accounting for the uh, transfer to the next frame. So this is coming up once it's changed. And you'll see this basket change as it goes through. That's the only real animation other than the basketball that's going to come down through it. And it may have already come down. I don't know. Um, I wasn't watching the sequence. Once you're finished, this sequence goes out to a folder. It's called Basketball Hoop. Right, and we're on image 23. It tells you right there which one you're working on at the top corner right up here. So that's just an indicator how Indigo Renderer works. You don't have to use this as a render scene or a render sequence or whatever the export scene as and then render settings. You don't have to use this shortcut up here if you don't want to. If you have the plug-in, you also have this panel and this is what I use. It's a little easier and I can do one frame at a time uh, and decide what my colors are going to be based on the object in the scene like the prop. If, um, if I take this Taurus, which is right here, that's part of that uh, connection. If I take this Taurus and I say I want to change the materials on it, well, you choose it. It says all to convert. You can change it to another material choice just by doing choosing it on this list. You can use the eyedropper to choose a specific item and then hit assign indigo renderer. Right now it's set for auto convert, which is okay uh, for most things. But sometimes you want it to be metal. You want it to be plastic. You want it to look like glass, glossy, frosty glass that you'd see like a, a shower door, window, or something like that. 
so you pick your one up if you don't want to see the item at all in the scene let's say you've got a light or an object in the scene you just don't want to see you pick null and it won't render the mesh for it so it can be uh, put out in indigo and uh, here we are we're back and now we're on frame 24 it's doing one minute per so it's an hour and a half to do 130 frames it's 129 plus zero 130 frames that's it alright we've got uh, all the sequences are done here in indigo so what we need to do now is find the sequence where it was output and put it into a video editor so I've got a few programs open in the back I'm just going to leave them open just in case but if I go in here and I say all programs and I'm going to use uh, uh, I don't know if I've got it in the top or not I don't so go to video studio and I'm doing a capture with Corel screen cap comes with video pro 7 and it does a pretty good job actually so I'm capturing and doing video editing at the same time it's very simple choose your area that you want to capture and then edit it now this was a screen capture before with the sun hat which I put as a demo up I'm going to create a new folder I'll just call it uh, basketball hoop okay now I'm going to open up images where I'm going to open up this is Merry Christmas from the chimp but this is not it basketball hoop here here are your images now it says images meshes blah 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 all you do is sort by type and then come down and you'll get to the zero image this is the first one and this is the last one 130 images and you just say open it I create a new directory here so I don't mix it up with the others and make it harder to find and uh, it's up to you how you manage your software I bring this up and it's called basketball hoop I'm gonna bring a hundred of them in and before I do anything else I say file save as basketball hoop and it goes into my projects which is already there basketball hoop okay doesn't matter even if it's spelled right and this is a demo but we'll go ahead and get it right basketball hoop and these are the images I just brought in so they're all pre-selected as a group so I just take these and just drag these down to the timeline come over and hold until it brings them all in and then it says that I'm at zero if you look at the clock there so I just drop it in here brings all 130 images in sequence and then I right click and say change photo duration three seconds is too long for it so I change this to zero and you can either have it uh, half a second or below I'm just going to reduce it to two so it goes faster and it's uh, two tenths of a second and it takes all those images and reduces them down to a reasonable uh, amount and I press play and this is the image sequence captured by indigo if you want to slow it down hit control Z to undo the image sequence and change photo duration again if it's too fast put it to zero and actually let's put this to one and it's one second per frame so press play and then you can watch it will be a little slower than it was before see the basket move just a little bit one by one and then the basketball will come down a little slower than it did before and if that's too fast now you see it flare out and that's the image capture and then the basket of course as it moves is being captured by indigo because when you do the soft cloth in iClone make sure that you say uh, to bake soft cloth if you want to render it out in indigo and that's it and then you put that out in an image uh, 
sequence video. So I'm just going to hit pause. And I'm going to hit undo. That's too slow. Control Z. So I'm going to change the photo duration to um, zero and five halves. And I come back here, and that's the end of the project. I say file save and it will overwrite my project there and then I go into share and it says what kind of video do you want well it will use the name of your project as a default basketball hoop and it says where do you want to save it and I can give it a new file name basketball hoop indigo so that's what I'm going to save it as enable smart render and it'll start and as it renders it out I'm also capturing it at the same time so that I can do a demo of it and that's simple as that you render out a sequence from iClone you put it through Indigo let those sequences come out bring them into your video editor like I just did and then decide on how fast the frame should be render it out in a video and you're done file has been rendered successfully so if I go to this folder F videos here videos basketball hoop indigo and I press play and this is the sequence boom that's it now this is a physx physx hoop and net versus the bullet which has already been sold in the store I'm gonna go ahead and include this net in the old package so that people could download it again and reuse it it's very simple to use and the cloth settings are already done for you you can also change those once you receive it Cricky out